it's Friday afternoon about 2 o'clock service time. You gotta change the oil in uh, C13 and C27, both cat motors. So, log trucks broke down, it broke the bucket. Tom's loading that with the slash right now. So, I'm gonna change both of these oils and these motors. That C13 up there, it's running 450 horsepower out of that. And that takes about six gallons of oil. And this C27's running 875 horse. And that takes about 19 gallons of motor oil. So I gotta change both of those. And it's a little bit of work, not too much, but a lot of oil. It takes 25 gallons of oil change both the motor oils, just the motor oils and those motors. And then I got some fuel filters, got all my air filters, that's all the boxes in there. So yeah, it'll fill up the back of the truck by the time you put your oil and filters in there. And that's not even all the filters, so that's just your fuel and motor oil. It's hot and humid, so I'm going to let the motors cool down. We just got done chipping, so I'll go to town, change the fluids. Mind you could see him arrive. He stood six foot six and weighed 245, kind of broad at the shoulder, narrow at the hip, and everybody knew you didn't give no lip. The big motor here, changing oil on this. And these are the uh, air filters. Remember how I said before about the boxes? You can see where they're all made from. China, who cares? We don't care. Lawrence, South Carolina, Hickory, North Carolina. So. There's some beautiful cardboard made out of America and China, but who cares about China? We don't need their garbage anyways. So this is our uh, V12 we're running here. And you can see the two filters in there. The two big filters are my oil filters. And if you jump underneath, which is how I drain it, right here's my shutoff for my motor oil. And there's your oil pan. And there's your two filters. So I always jump underneath it to change stuff. And we'll start draining this one. See how it goes. There's my clutch fluid. I don't got to change that today. I got a wet clutch in this V12 for my chipper disc. And I'll change that another day. But we'll get the motor oil changed in this girl. Got her going. Just took the hose out, turned the valve, and you're draining oil. Now you just swap buckets, get her all drained out, and then I'll change my filters. Fill her up with new and change my fuel filters, be ready to go. Draining a little motor oil. Throw a hose on there. The other end fits the big motor down there. Got the big motor drain, drain a little motor. Josh is changing the air filters in there. Up there, Super Josh. We'll have this done in no time. Now we'll get up in here, get the two filters off. So from here. This one off. Ooh, 
It just got all over me too. I'll catch it with the bucket on there. Just got it face. Wonderful. All over my clothes. What do you do? Play the game, I guess. Does it to me every time. Off good and slow. Otherwise, she'll fall on you. I want that. Get the other one loose. Take that one off. This one there we go. Yeah, that one spun off and got all over me when I spin it. And that one a little too tight, apparently. You may ask why I do this. And if we got mechanics, we got mechan we got a, we got a mechanic at the shop. I prefer to do it by myself. It's just how I GoPro died on me. I just got the second one off. humid out today covered in oil I'm ready to go home already I got both filters full of oil and we'll put them back on just like that like that. Just fits up there like a glove, ladies and gentlemen. Beautiful. I'm covered in oil. That's okay. I expect that some days. Black. Problem is I'm sweating. There's a bunch of sawdust. It just gets dust everywhere, so you get that in you too. Busy working. I figured that's probably a little more important for Paul to be working than videotaping. So the boss watches our videos, so I gotta keep him working a little bit too. You gotta do work. You can't just make YouTube videos all day long. You gotta produce some wood. So Paul He's out chipping right now. Or not chipping. He's out pulling wood for Monday. Paul's always a good worker. And Josh is spilling a little more up with the oil. And then we'll get started with this one in a minute. Once he's done with that one. So. Should be pretty good. 
get out of here and go home and spend the weekend with the wife and kids. She's got something planned tomorrow. What are we planning to do tomorrow, hon? Oh, I don't remember. She's got something for me to do, I think. I can't keep everything straight. She's school shopping today. She doesn't text me much when she's out doing that. She's got four kids school shopping. So, kind of a boring day for me. I don't get no texts or nothing from her. So, oh, I can't wait to go home. Come on. It's hard to see. But it is right at a little better. Right at the full mark. Big motor's done. <sighs> Got it all done, guys. Got the oil changed on both motors. Got a nice pretty filters up in there. Hard to see. Air filters on the big motor. New filters, air filters on the little motor. Completely done. Ready to go for Monday. Did I get fuel here? No, I didn't get fuel on this yet. I forgot. I never even thought of it. You don't have to though, Polly. It's still in the sight glass. I'm sure I gotta do that one. Okay. Paul is gonna fuel up the slasher. You may ask why I why I would ever do a job like this where you get all oily and sweaty and can't see. It's not because it's my father-in-law's company or I have to work. I enjoy running equipment. I enjoy working out here in the woods. I know it sounds stupid to some people, but I really do enjoy working out here in the woods. It's more than just a job. I enjoy it. Days like today are a little rough when you're covered in motor oil and sweat, but hey, it'll be a good day Monday and a good day Tuesday, and hey, one of these days it'll cool down, but anyways, always backing up. Josh is waiting for me. I'm coming home, sweetheart. See you in a second, kids. Full of butt crack, it was all I could see. 